way of emulating in the life of Jesus is his prayer ministry. The Bible lets us know that Jesus himself was a man of prayer. Even though he was 100% God, he was 100% human. And the Bible says, for we do not have a high priest who had not been touched with the feelings of our infirmity. He said he was in every way like us, tempted yet without sin. That means we must carefully examine his life. What was the secret behind his dexterity, even though he was human? What was the secret behind his consistency until he finished well? Among the many truths that we find in scripture that sponsored the strength and the stamina of Jesus while he walked upon the earth was the efficiency of his prayer ministry. Are we together? Now, theologically speaking and historically speaking, Jesus was born at a time that there was such warfare around his birth because of jesus's birth many innocent children died are you aware of that jesus almost never had age mates because they killed all of his age mates literally imagine like coming to a city like this or a nation and killing all of your age mates it was a difficult upbringing for him but then the bible lets us know that every once and again we saw jesus engaging in the ministry of prayer so i'd like us to examine the prayer ministry for a few minutes so that we can rise to the level and the standard in the spirit the standard of stature that will help us to be worthy representations of the kingdom and of the christ it's one thing to desire to walk in holiness it's one thing to desire to walk in righteousness. It's one thing to desire to walk in power. It's one thing to desire to walk in wisdom. But it takes more than desire. There is in this kingdom, we never do anything in the strength of the flesh. To desire is only human. But there is an engracing of the spirit. Please listen carefully. In this kingdom, the effort of the flesh will only end men in futility. You will desire, you will will to do it. But if the grace that picks you up to that level in the spirit is not there, you will consistently fall short of your expectation. Is God speaking to us? Many of us desire even an arm robber when you ask him. Or maybe when you meet someone who smokes or drinks and you sit with him and say, look the kind of life you are living. Are you really happy about this? In all honesty, sometimes some of you, you have them around and they will tell you sincerely I, I don't like this kind of life is that true and whilst you talk to them you will think they have repented they will never do anything again because of the level of brokenness one day later they're in the police station again because in this kingdom look up please let me teach you pay attention to what i'm teaching you this afternoon in this kingdom demons are real in in this kingdom satan is real there is a real devil that has vowed to see that your life will never rise to god's expectation spirits are real wickedness is real the bible does not leave us in the dark as to the fact that there are forces and that not every force is godly there are spirits that will fight to see that your prayer life never becomes anything to write home about there are spirits that will fight to see that the prophecy upon your head from birth never comes to be fulfilled oh when you were giving birth to a prophet came and said this lady is going to be like esther in the palace and you are not the only one who had the prophecy those spirits also had it and they vow and covenant that for as long as we are here this lady will not rise as a light in this family please listen to me no matter how modern we are no matter how advanced we are no matter how educated and how technological we get the reality that is in the realm of the spirit is that dark powers are real and they are not sleeping they are not folding their arms 
the bible says satan moves to and fro is it in your bible like a roaring lion seeking for whom he may devour there are over seven point something billion people on earth and you will be surprised how many people are under the siege of satan spirits are behind the tragedies in the life of men i once had a story very many years ago of a young man who did well finished school collected his certificate i think he was on a bike going home and one of these trucks that carry products just came with speed and crushed that person even climbed the neck he died there and then and that was the only one who was rising in that family don't tell me it was a coincidence spirits are real what of people who read and even conduct tutorial for others and then when it's time for exam they sit down there as if they've never read until they fail they are taking their bath in the night they now remember the answers wickedness is real oh. please listen to me when i tell you this our world is immersed in a web of evil and wickedness and the bible knowing this made a provision for the saints to be able to navigate through the tides of evil navigate through the tides of wickedness of witchcraft and all of these orchestrations ultimately the victory comes through the sacrifice of christ but the administration of that victory requires engaging the forces of the kingdom let me repeat myself that even though the victory is finished in christ as far as the bible tells us the administration of that victory in your life here and now will be predicated on your understanding and engaging the forces of the kingdom just because the victory has been won does not mean it will automatically be made manifest in your life forever oh lord it says your word is settled in heaven not in your life it takes engaging the forces of victory that have been given to the saints and one of it is the ministry of prayer do you know what it means to grow in a place where you know they hate you from the king there herod did not hide his own go and search for that child that i will come and worship him and he was negotiating so that they will kill him to the point that the angels joseph god used dreams he used angels to hide jesus when herod died he said now you can go the one who seeks your child is gone do you know what it means to walk in a world where you suspect that anybody can kill you at any time your life and your ministry is not received and yet jesus was able to rise to that standard and he finished strong that means there is something that we need to learn walk with me for a few minutes as we explore a few principles that can help us rise to that stature through the ministry of prayer number one the bible lets us know matthew chapter 10 and verse 16 please give it to us matthew chapter 10 please write it down matthew chapter 10 and verse 16 behold i send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves very interesting information jesus is talking now not a prophet not an archangel i send you let me define for you the territory that i'm sending you to you are an innocent sheep you see a sheep does not have horns a sheep does not have a system of defense the only system of defense of a sheep is his shepherd so he's saying i send you a sheep but a wolf and a sheep does not lie down in the same place when a wolf sees a sheep the assignment is to tear it into pieces and eat it and yet the god of all flesh sends us as sheep among wolves that means the tendency to see your destiny go down as far as this world is concerned is 100 percent 
the tendency to see that although you rise you never amount to anything is 100 percent the tendency to see that tears and sorrow never depart from your life is 100 percent the devil is that determined and god did not leave us in the dark he says therefore on account of this information be as wise as serpents one of the few times in scripture where god will recommend people to learn the wisdom of the serpent and to be as harmless as doves first john chapter 5 and verse 19 first john chapter 5 apostle john was giving us another information about the world that we live in if you can see it projected please read otherwise i read it for you and we know that we are of god uh-huh and the whole world the bible says lie it in wickedness the whole world means abel kuta means lagos means kano means my duguri means america means europe means asia the entire world is immersed in wickedness the bible says very instructive information one more scripture matthew chapter 26 and verse 41 again jesus christ the son of the living god matthew 26 41 are we there it says watch and pray jesus again is giving us an instruction watch the word watch there means be discerning the word watch there means be vigilant the word watch there means be wise the word watch there means be courageous watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation why because there is a weakness in all men it says the spirit is willing willing to be successful willing to be great willing to serve god willing to live a fruitful life but the limitation is that the flesh is weak the flesh is weak look up please the flesh is weak does not necessarily talk about sin alone listen to what i'm telling you it is a limitation that is in all humans that by reason of wearing a mortal body there is only so much we can do are we together now there are times that you know you should pray the holy ghost is telling you arise and pray but the reality of your tiredness you know you are tired for a legitimate reason the flesh is weak there are times that you know you should serve god but this joblessness is now 10 years no job and the truth is that as people begin to mock you and talk against you at first you say it does not matter the flesh is weak this subject of flesh is something we have to trust god for grace and examine and deal with seriously most believers focus just on the issue of sin the issue of sin has been resolved through the substitutionary sacrifice of christ that you can obtain that grace and that righteousness and the grace grants you the ability to walk sincerely in true holiness and righteousness the bible says but for flesh it says i crucify it daily not monthly not weekly listen carefully you can be as righteous as you can but the reality of the weakness of your flesh you will find out your prayer life is going down your word life is going down your passion and your zeal for spiritual things going down by the time you stay 10 years with no child and everybody say you claim to be a christian even unbelievers who live the wayward life they have children and their children are almost going to secondary school don't tell me it will not touch you by the time you love god and you've served god in church for years and someone comes to say what is the benefit of your serving god your colleagues who were not serious with god when you were serving god some of them were unbelievers today they have jobs today they build their house there is nothing that seems to show like the faithfulness of god the reality of those statements 
can get you to a point where even if you lock yourself to in the place of prayer you will think you are praying but you are just worrying saying but god are these people really lying have i not spent my life serving you is this how you reward them who serve you you need strength in your inner man the bible says if you turn aside in the day of battle your strength is small can i tell you this every one of us seated and listening to me here and those who might be following online for as long as you are alive enough on this earth a day will come when the reality of life will hit you to a point that if you do not have sufficient spiritual arsenal to stand in strength you may fall by the wayside even after many years of serving god most of you here you still receive support from loved ones and parents whether you sow or not there's a harvest coming so you may not understand the implication of what it means to be exposed to a wicked world where someone vows and says, i am the boss in this office it is over my dead body that you rise yet you are the one the brain behind the growth of the company The whole world lieth in wickedness. What then was the spiritual strategy that Jesus used? Why did he become so victorious, regardless Satan? Why did he become victorious, regardless the naysayers, the scribes, the Pharisees? why did he become successful regardless all the schemings of darkness what technology did he employ to be able to still rise and finish his assignment he said my meat is to do the will of him that has sent me and to finish it when he was on that cross hallelujah he said it is finished i finished it i fought the, the fight paul when at the end of his life he said i have i have fought a good fight of faith what a powerful testimony for a man to say in spite of the wickedness of men i still finished lord i have finished the blueprint of my assignment you stand and look at earth i remember when billy graham was preparing to leave one of the few men who finished his assignment there was nothing else for him to do he just sat down and was waiting for the day the lord would take him and with glory and honor he transited look at jesus he finished his assignment raised those to succeed him and levitated in their presence to heaven and while they watched in fear the angels came and said why do you look up this same jesus you see he's going to come back again the same way you have seen him go up. there are many ways listen carefully that god helps men the bible says i will lift up my eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help that was a question then it says my help cometh from the lord the maker of heaven and earth let me show you one of the ways that god helps us in this kingdom regardless the arsenals of darkness when you find this secret that I teach you this afternoon, you can guarantee that you will finish strong. You can guarantee that after 30 years, you will still be standing, serving the purposes of the kingdom. When all the dust rises and falls, you will still be standing and serving the purposes of the kingdom. Are we together? Romans 8, 26. Shila samprahaski dabakasu debrendekedibalahasya likewise the spirit also helpeth likewise this holy ghost that was given to us is more than a pentecostal phenomenon likewise the holy ghost the spirit also helpeth our infirmity the word translated infirmity there does not mean sickness it means bodily limitation 
the limitation that comes to you by reason of wearing a mortal body that the holy ghost was sent to us because god knew that outside of him there is no chance of our survival not in this wicked world are we together the spirit helped our infirmity what is the infirmity we are limited for we know not what we should pray for as we ought but the spirit itself make it intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered next verse and he that searched the heart knoweth what is the mind of the spirit for he makes intercession for the saints according to the will of god i do not know what challenges my family will face i do not know what onslaughts of darkness will come against your life your ministry your career but one thing you know is you can tap into the superior intelligence of the spirit who is not limited do not forget that from genesis 1 verse 1 the holy spirit is master over chaos every time there is darkness every time there is chaos is the is the dimension of the godhead that is introduced are we together the spirit helped our infirmities how does he help it by supplying you a dimension of a prayer language that even though you do not understand the bible lets you know that every time you utter that language there is a coordination you are praying with accuracy according to the will of god i may not even know what i need for the next level of my life i may not know what i need for the next level of ministry i do not understand the kind of demonic structure that put themselves to come against me but one thing i know is that even though i am limited as a human being there is the supernatural spirit that was given to me and he's provided a mechanism that if i engage it no matter my limitation the holy ghost who sees this entire span of earth he knows how to direct me to pray such that i will eventually imagine victory now thanks be to god who causes us always to triumph jesus your jesus seemed very limited that was why when he wore this human body before he started ministry as soon as he was ready to start ministry the first thing that happened was that he went to meet john the prophet the baptist when john baptized him listen he had not preached any sermon the heavens opened and the holy spirit came and descended upon him and the next thing that happened was that he was driven to the wilderness he prayed for 40 days 40 nights satan came to tempt him and he defeated satan with it is written the bible says he returned in the power of the spirit suddenly his fame went about and when persecution arose for the word's sake every time the bible will say he will retreat from people and he will go to pray why should the son of the living god pray there's no mention of him praying when he was in heaven before he came but the moment he became a man he had to pray luke 18 verse 1 please learn this secret that i show you as we pray luke 18 verse 1 the bible says and he spake a parable to them to this end that men prayer is not for those in trouble prayer is not for prayer warriors prayer is not for ministers of the gospel prayer is for men the moment you find out you are carrying a body prayer is mandatory for your survival it is not something for those who want to go into ministry or those who think they want to walk in power no he spake a parable that men ought always to pray and not to faint so when the tiredness of his crusades come upon him when the discouragements that attempt to come from the scribes and pharisees he will retreat and pray and pray and pray 
and pray and return back with strength and fire and vigor the disciples did not know what was the secret of his consistency they were discouraged they will run away today they would argue among themselves do you know why they did not have a mechanism to draw strength until that time it was not yet given to them so discouragement was the order of the day there were all kinds of carnal things among them arguing for position who will sit at the left and right jesus when are you going to conquer caesar and herod and give us a share of this inheritance and said look how carnal you people are we are discussing kingdom matters and what you are thinking of is this to the point that they even got their mother james and john to come and help them negotiate the position in advance so that there's no argument when jesus becomes a victor they were arguing about who was the greatest they were arguing about leadership at a point in time they now became angry and said master we have left all low. don't think we've forgotten it we have left all to follow you what is our stake in this because they were weak that was the weakness of the flesh playing out even jesus got to a point in gethsemane when he was becoming seen for the first time the holy ghost was going to leave him to continue his journey of his passion unassisted by the spirit of grace and he cried he cried and cried and cried father if it's possible take this cup off me that's to tell you the reality if jesus got to a point where he was weak do you know what i love about the bible it leaves everything bare it doesn't doctor anything and hide it if jesus cried it will write it there if jesus was victorious he would write it there a time came your jesus the son of the living god was tired and he said father i never knew it was going to be this hard is it possible for us to renegotiate salvation and then he just said no nevertheless not my will that's the strength to continue but your will be done you read about the disciples read about how most of them were killed and matired some of them were turned upside down and they were hung some of them were hung in a transverse session some of them were fed to animals and yet in modern history even at the point of death ah, the holy spirit he can give you strength and courage beyond your imagination that with this holy ghost you can stand in front of the board and see two carryovers and say but lord this was not the plan and yet in the midst of it you will still find strength and be comforting someone else and they say so how will you do with your life now you say no problem i know that all things work together for good and they say shouldn't you be crying and while other people are saying what a shame you claim that you serve god all your life where is your god that could not help you you say no problem i will pass through this with honor and nobility i know that the one extra year something is going to happen that will change my life there is stamina when you understand the ministry of the holy spirit now please listen to me the subject of being filled with the holy ghost with evidence of praying in tongues is not a pentecostal phenomenon no 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 this is not something for pentecostals this is not something for men of god it was an advantage that god gave believers he says you shall receive power when the holy ghost comes acts chapter one in acts chapter two we do not see power but we see tongues that means there is a relationship between tongues and spiritual power if he said he never said you shall receive tongues in acts chapter one you shall receive power but in acts chapter two now when the day of pentecost was fully come the bible says they were gathered together with one accord in one accord suddenly there was a sound like it was in ezekiel 37 it came and filled the whole room and the bible says they saw cloven tongues that were as of fire it came and rested upon every one of them and they were filled with the holy ghost the bible says and they began so there was a day it was not their experience they began to speak with other tongues as the spirit gave them utterance when the people gathered in the day of pentecost and said peter what is happening peter said this is that this is that prophecy that one day in the last days it shall come to pass i shall pour out my spirit he began to quote from prophet joel to tell him this is that experience that brings us strength by the time we get to first corinthians chapter 14 please give it to us 
first corinthians chapter 14 and verse 2 paul was mentoring the church in corinth and here's what he had to say for he that speaketh in an unknown tongue he said speaketh not unto men but unto god for no man understandeth him how be it in the spirit he speaketh what mysteries and paul said those mysteries is what he calls the hidden wisdom of god that none of these princes had known for had they known it they would not crucify the lord of glory that when we pray in the spirit as scattered as what we are saying is he says in the realm of the spirit we are birthing realities we are praying mysteries verse 4 of the same scripture the bible says he that speaketh in an unknown tongue watch this if you are trusting god to rise to that level of stature and stamina one of the weapons that brought jesus to that place because the bible says jesus increased meaning he to experience transitions he increased in wisdom in stature in favor with god and with men he said he that speaketh in an unknown tongue edifieth himself builds up his capacity that what was a weakness yesterday no longer becomes a weakness tomorrow show me a christian who just gets born again weak and timid with all kinds of family yokes and causes to destroy him expose that person to a proper system of mentorship let that person come under a strong apostolic grace and prophetic grace let that person be filled with the holy ghost and be encouraged to build himself i show you fire on his way to be ignited no matter how weak and no matter how timid you may start as a weak person but just keep praying one day becomes one week one week becomes one month every night you go to pray while you are praying you are even tired yourself do you know what you are doing you are attracting through your consistency the spirit of prayer and supplication the holy ghost that dimension of his ministry is being exposed to you one night it will do you like a dream you will go to pray as before and a grace will fall on you you will do a night vigil only you there from that day no matter what happens prayer will no longer be by your strength again you have been carried by the wings of the spirit the grace for supplication is upon you that your bodily weakness will no longer be able to swallow you up again it is at that point listen all the other gifts of the spirit are activated by your consistency of praying in tongues believe me this is my office i know what i'm saying all other gifts of the spirit prophecy word of knowledge it is at the instance of your expanding your organs of interaction in the realm of the spirit you build stamina all of a sudden you sense something is wrong with mama i don't know why but i sense for two days now i've been sensing that all is not well you pick up a call and call home mommy are you fine she tells you how did you know i didn't want to tell you but it's like i've been down you tell her it is the devil now in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare that power be broken discernment many believers are dull of discernment the devil comes slowly and comes to destroy us we do not have the seeing eye we do not have the hearing ear do you know why because we have neglected this precious gift given to us if this gift was useful to make jesus the model that we now celebrate without the holy ghost let me tell you even though he was the son of god he never would have been able to survive it the world is too evil to use just intellect and use strength it is the ability to pray in the spirit that will give you strength one year there's no money at home yet you are praying you hold the hands of your wife and say let's pray we know that god is faithful we are completely confused we don't know what to do it's in the place of prayer direction will come five minutes becomes one hour can i encourage you let me tell you this my dear people now you are not as busy as you should one thing with prayer is that truly there are prayer banks in the realm of the spirit 
you can send incense of prayer to wait for your future there i know this i know what i'm saying for some of you you don't know why god is saying cut away from some of these nonsense activities and spend time to pray a day will come when you are breastfeeding children you may not have that time to pray the way you always wanted again everybody here who is working or busy will tell you that 10 years or 20 years ago the liberty you had in terms of time you don't have it now again are we together time so now is the best time to invest in prayer you find one corner every time you are praying why are you praying this kind of prayer lord i know where you are taking me to and i'm i'm praying that prayer not just give me tea not just give me bread this is prayer for edification this is prayer for warfare you are sending in prayer as an usher to wait for you in your future that what killed my father will not kill me what killed my loved ones they rose up just like me but a spirit stood and stopped them i'm not going to allow that destroy my life i saw it destroy their ministries and i'm standing now to send an incense of prayer this is more than just give me tea this is more than morning devotion wake up africa there are real demons in our continent it will take power to last in today's world I remember the first time I saw a demon spirit in my life I was praying hmm. let me tell you this the day you take prayer seriously the realm of the spirit will start giving you a feedback you will know that something you are doing is touching the realm of the spirit in reality that night it was at the back of a generator i'm not talking of visions physically like i'm looking at you i'm praying and all of a sudden i go to the back of the generator and whoo here is this spirit standing and he tells me get back i didn't even know when subconsciously i started praying from that day the reality of the demonic realm i had read about it i had read it from scripture but my eyes had seen it. I knew that this thing oh, is real. Except you are given to prayer. Everything I'm saying remains as a parable. You will never on. There are dimensions in the spirit. Where one day you are praying. The blueprint of your family's destiny will be open. That's the day you will see. That your loved ones were not supposed to be small. So this is why marriages don't happen in our family. So this is why people rise. And God will say now that you have paid the price. To build power with me. Let me give you authority. In the spirit to deal with that situation and now you begin to deal with that situation he spoke a parable to the end that men ought always to pray and not to faint listen don't you think if they fought your father and your mother they will leave you say unto god how terrible art thou in your ways through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves to you let me tell you this most of these songs you hear i'm not a musician most of the songs that you hear that have come from me were songs that came from the realm of the spirit sometimes i was praying and i was caught up in the realm of the spirit and i was hearing these songs of angels and the part i was able to bring is the part that you hear let the weight of your glory fall that's one of the songs let it cover all the earth let the weight of your glory fall let it cover all the earth let it cover all the earth let it cover all the earth. Songs. 
holy holy blessed is he who comes in the name of our god hosanna hosanna blessed is he who comes in the name of our god lion of judah the lamb upon the throne we hail you most high it was a song that i had i was in the realm of the spirit and i had that song it was like worship was going on you hail you most high we hail you we worship you listen to me we are going to pray one of my assignments this morning is to activate your prayer life again again genuine prayer not this thing people are doing around genuine prayer that produces power with god and power in the spirit i tell you this take my word for it that if god grants you grace and in this session if you can obtain the grace and the fire and you set that altar again on fire you will marvel and wonder your weaknesses will be swallowed up by the strength of god your limitation altars that will not let you rest altars that will not let you bow altars that will not allow you rise in the spirit will give way listen hear me please hear me if you have never prayed in your life let this be the time you will pray i will lead you into the prayer let me give you a piece of my secret place i'm going to pray with you this afternoon not laziness don't i'm not talking of the kind of prayer where you are looking around typing punching phones we are talking of a matter of destiny find a corner hold on to the four horns of the altar and everyone begin to pray in the spirit pray in the spirit generate power with god how can you walk when you don't know the way of the spirit how can you run when you don't know the way of the spirit how can you fly when you don't know the way of the wind this power at work in us changing everything Follow your pride tonight. Come to the school of the spirit. Don't you know in his hands are the keys to eternal life? Shelekete parakatos kato prash. Shata taka taka kata 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 lekata. Shkanda prata kato bakata. Where are the men of prayer? Where are the women of prayer? Shanananta's katabaka pe, ekra katabaka toko toskada ba, ekra tosko shetatelia, embre kato koto ba koto shekate, shimelekata, rekete baka toko topra kata, shanadada baka ta, shkata kata baka ta koto sota ba, embre kato soto prekate, shilebeka shkabas koto skodaskiya. Ebra kato koto prelekata, shile sende alaska ta, ekra kato toko to, mekata prekata lekata katos, skena mekato koto prekata kata lekata, mekata prekata kata lekata, shiga dega dega debos, ebra koto soko to prekata kata lekata. Pray.
Vela Bashida Badarabash, Shibarata Catapanda Catapaleca Tosokotosh, Capran Tokotoprakatosia. Likewise, the Spirit help him. Likewise, the Spirit help him. Scanta Parantas Catapercate, a Catapratosco to Bracatareca Toshicata, Caproto Soto Baruto Soto Bracate Bellata. Pray. I know the lion, I know the lamb, I know the lion, yeah. I know the lamb, I believe in the lion, I believe in the lamb, I believe in the lion. I believe in the lion and I will follow the lion. I follow the lion. I follow the lamb. I follow the lion. I follow the lamb. I follow the lion. Shanes Kaparatos Koto Prakatesh. Ekeparuto Soto Koto Pranakata Banakata. Press to that escape velocity in the spirit. It's time to rise in power. It's time to rise. No more limitation. You are not weak, oh great one. You are not weak, oh great one. Rise up. Contend. Have power in the spirit. I love the lion, I love the lion, I love the lamb, I love the lion, hey. I love the lion, say, I love the lamb, Shadakata Pradeka Toskoto Barika. Embrateke baroto shoto pretekia. Strengthen my ministry. Strengthen my inner man. Power with God, power in the spirit. Let the gifts of the spirit be activated within my life. In the name of Jesus, it's time to represent the purposes of God. To walk in signs, walk in wonders, walk in miracles. Don't be tired. You came for a camp meeting. Shamanda Kaparagata Sikete. Shekata Prakata Katotsia. Embrakata Protos Kotoparikatea. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Listen to me. Listen. In the name of Jesus. Now listen. Hear me. It said, blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance are you ready to pray say after me in the name of jesus you will marvel and wonder at what happens to you when you pray this prayer say father i decree that every planting every altar every orchestration of darkness against my life my family my destiny against prophecy over my life right now 
it comes on that judgment open your mouth and begin to pray every handwriting ordinance speakings neketele shalabakarian tekapa tata prakato sekata barekatash efrakato koto prakato sekete against my destiny against my academics against my spiritual growth in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus we we'll soon round up my glory the lifter up of my head truly thou Oh Lord, had a shield for me. My glory, you're the lifter up of my head. Only you, oh Lord, had a shield for me. My glory, the lifter up of my head. What a shield for me, my glory, the lifter up of my head. Are you ready to pray? Say in the name of Jesus, I declare the grace, the unction for the next level of my life and my destiny spiritually financially career wise i obtain that grace right now lift your voice and begin to pray take grace take grace he said to come boldly before the throne of grace that you may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need Comforter, make my life comfortable teacher teach me all i need to know you are the spirit of god i feel your touch in my life holy ghost You are going to play one last prayer. Listen to me. One last prayer. The spirit of lukewarmness. On fire today down tomorrow. The spirit of complacency. The spirit of conformity. I have to be like the rest. You are going to pray and say, Father, fresh fire on my altar. The fellowship I used to have with you that i no longer enjoy oh let there be a restoration oh god a restoration of hunger a restoration of passion lift your voice and pray you are 
the covenant keeping God. Keep praying. You are covenant keeping God. Yahweh, covenant keeping God. The covenant keeping God Yahweh The staying power in prayer The staying power in fastings The staying power in your pursuit Shalena Tasca de la Copra Hascadia Raskida. Hallelujah. Now, listen, everybody. Listen. I have just two or three minutes and we're done. You finished praying. Now, I'm going to raise a chant in the spirit. You just listen to me. While I am praying, I'm ministering to you by the spirit. There will be an infusion of grace and strength upon your inner man. We trade the mysteries of the kingdom. Hey, 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 I'm activating the ministry of angels. Oh, 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 Fire upon your altar. Strength for the journey ahead. Grace to say no to every appearance of evil. Faithful is the Lamb, mighty, mighty is the Lamb. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. The grace that helps men to finish strong. Just a minute or two and we're done. There are many of you, the Holy Ghost is speaking to you. Calling you back to the place of intimacy.
This was a sound that I had in the realm of the spirit. One day whilst ministering. These are songs of the spirit. They were not songs that were written. Cain and Abel offered sacrifices. But the sacrifice of Cain was rejected and the sacrifice of abel rose up to the heavens and the bible says god had respect for the sacrifice of abel and cain was angry and god said if you do it correctly if you do it correctly there is a pattern james 4 verse 1 we are reading down to 3 from whence cometh war and fightings among you Come they not hence even from the loss that war in your members was too. Ye lost and have not. Ye kill and desire to have. And ye cannot obtain. Ye fight and war. Now read the remaining part. One to read. Yet ye have not. Because ye ask not. Verse 3. Ye ask. And ye receive not why because ye ask a miss now listen the word a miss there is out of pattern out of pattern you are asking you are praying but there is a formula there is a path that leads the request of a man to the throne of heaven and this is what I want to show you let me tell you your prayer life will be remarkably blessed there is a way you pray that brings answers there is a way you pray that will command the attention of heaven if you don't know this you can pray and feel spiritual and speak saliva from morning till night and not get any result. the prayer meetings in many ministries are poorly attended by because those who lead the prayers do not know what they are doing there is an art of war it says with wise counsel make war i want to show you four keys four mysteries in the spirit that have helped my prayer life i tell you you will command results you will command the attention of heaven if you learn this mystery are we together don't let anyone fool you that god answers every prayer no no hagar prayed her son cried both of them were talking to God. Only the prayer of Ishmael got to heaven. The Bible says, and God had the cry of the young lad. He did not hear the lamentation of Hagar. Are we together? Another fact you must realize is that your tears touches God, but it does not move God. Uh -uh. The Bible says, for we do not have a high priest who cannot be touched, not moved with the feelings of our infirmities. He is touched. He sympathizes with us. But if God is to take any action on your behalf, it must be according to his pattern. Because he has exalted his word even above his name. Are we together? Pray one minute violently. Open my eyes. As these mysteries come, oh God, may they not just be informations. May they be spirit and life. Spirit and life. Pray. Pray. By your mercy, O oh God, open our eyes. Shapakata Prescata Brandega Subrata Sekete Praska Barata Batabata We are praying already Holy, holy, holy Holy, holy, holy Holy, holy, holy Holy, holy, holy it's the Lord God Almighty. It's the Lord God Almighty. My life is 
full of your glory. My life is full of your glory. Listen. Please open up your spirit to these four keys that I will be sharing with you. The first key that governs the mystery of answered prayer is that before your prayer touches the throne room, it must be heartfelt. The first key to the kind of prayer and petition that will move heaven is the prayer that moves you first. Are we together? Let me assure you that God is not playing games with men. If your prayer cannot move you, it will not move heaven. Are we together? The Bible says, James chapter 5, please give us verse 15. If you can give us from Amplified, James 5, 16. We have to really be fast. There's a lot of prayer tonight. There's a lot of prayer. James 5, 16. 16 16 i like us to read it says confess to one another therefore your faults your slips and false steps and so on and so forth and pray also for one another that you may be healed and restored i want us to read the b part from the ns ready one to read the earnest heartfelt continued prayer of a righteous man does what makes tremendous power available dynamic in its working the bible was teaching us how to pray the kind of prayer that will touch heaven and it's in the character of scripture to use a figure that typifies god's idea of prayer then he says elijah in this example was a man of like passion and the bible says he prayed earnestly that there be no rain for a space of three and a half years elijah shut the heavens and put the key in his pocket he said there shall be no rain except at my word and then the bible says when it was time for the rain to fall right elijah began to pray he prayed the first time putting his head beneath his knees and he cried and traveled let me tell you the kind of prayer that touches heaven is the kind of prayer where you pray and forget who is by your side you're not looking at makeup or suits or conscious of whether i'm sweating no 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 it must be heartfelt from the depth of your spirit are we together hannah kept crying every time at shiloh but a time came she prayed a heartfelt prayer the bible says before the altar she poured her soul to a point that eli the prophet said why is this woman drunk how can you come to the altar drunk and he said my lord i am not drunk but a woman that is pouring her soul before god and the spirit of god spoke through the prophet let me tell you something the kind of prayer that shakes heaven is prayer that is heartfelt the way a lot of believers pray you will know that you do not expect an answer are we together yeah you pray with all your heart the bible says jesus prayed at gethsemane it was so heartfelt his sweat was like drops of blood same prayer without changing it three times and he sustained strength from heaven and was ready for the cross are we together are you ready to pray as i mentioned the key will pray and at the end of the fourth key i will give us some prayer requests and we'll pray heartfelt prayer heartfelt prayer when we say pray you see a lot of people strolling around chewing gums huh you see that kind of prayer let me tell you something i'm not being religious with you there is a law you are contending against forces it's like an aeroplane attempting to ride it must move and the law of aerodynamics must sustain capacity to overcome the law of gravity the flesh has its encumbrances and the moment you begin to pray the flesh will exert a weight upon you but it takes power everybody say power as you generate power in the spirit it's like a flight your flesh is weak you are feeling sleepy but you understand the law of spirit spiritual superiority that as it is in the spirit so it will manifest your spirit is strong but the bible says the flesh is weak it's up to you to yield to the weakness of the flesh and not pray 
or keep praying you don't receive strength to continue praying it is in the prayer all of a sudden when your flesh is weak have you prayed to a point that you did not even expect you had strength for 10 minutes keep praying as you keep praying, you are weak the devil keeps sending all kinds of thoughts in your mind just keep praying the secret is to continue i tell you there is an escape velocity in the spirit there is a level you will get to that it will no longer be your flesh at that level the spirit of god takes over lift your voice and pray blast in tongues a heartfelt prayer walk around don't just sit at your seat strolling carelessly Oh, we are ascending, we are ascending, we are ascending in the realm of the spirit, above and beyond the realm of the limitations of the flesh. I assure you your spirit is willing. I assure you your spirit man is willing. Your spirit man is willing. Your spirit man is willing. Man is willing. Forget about the limitation of the flesh. With time it will bow. With time it must bow. There is a supply of grace and spirit power upon you. Grace to travel. Make it a prosperous Generate power, power, generate power to dislodge every force, generate power to contend with every altar, generate power to confront death, generate power to confront God. Generate power to force answers. I worship you with all my heart. With all my heart, I worship you. With all my heart, with all my heart, Lord, I worship you. With all my heart, with all my heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah hallelujah now listen i want to teach you the legal dimension of prayer are we together there is there is a judicial dimension of prayer is the law that governs petitions are we together there is a name that god is called and prayer activates the operation of that dimension he is called the judge are we together i want to teach you the legal dimension of prayer the key to effective prayer the kind of petition and supplication that will touch heaven is the kind that must be done in the name of jesus the name of jesus is the access code to the throne room the access code the mystery that opens the gates of the throne room is the name of jesus john 14 quickly please john 14 verse 13 
the name of Jesus is the access code there is no other name that can open the heavens it says and I give us in, in um, um, King James King James please it says and whatsoever ye shall ask in your name in the name of a ministry it says whatsoever ye shall ask for as long as you do it in my name it says that will I do I will supervise see to it that because my name is upon it I will make sure it is answered that the father may be glorified whatsoever you ask in my name chapter 16 verse 23 same John 16 verse 23 go ahead and read it is projected inside and outside one to read and in that day ye shall ask me nothing verily verily I say unto you aha uh -huh, whatsoever ye shall ask the father in my name he will give it you the name of Jesus is the access code are we together the attention of the father is only attracted when any man stepping in the name standing in the office and upon the strength of that which Christ has done the name of Jesus a representation of his finished work and his legal standing before God is the same basis we have the Bible says let us therefore come before him boldly access the throne of grace boldly not in our righteousness not based on our goodness are we together but we stand upon the name the name of Jesus is a representation of all that Christ did the name of Jesus reminds the father of the revelation of what Jesus did which is a revelation of his love for man listen you will never get anything from God based on your self-righteousness it's got to be the law of petition is that you must stand in the righteousness of Christ to be heard because the Bible says our righteousness is as filthy rags so we come in his name not based on our qualification are we together we are going to pray and say father I make these petitions tonight as touching your righteousness as touching your love as touching your willingness to answer me lift your voice and pray go ahead and pray go ahead and pray the name of Jesus Shaka Paruko Sopre Oh, it's in the name of Jesus that we come tonight. Jesus. It's in the name of Jesus that we come tonight. Jesus. It's in the name of Jesus that we come tonight. It's not in the name of a man. It's not in the name of an idol. It's in the name of Jesus. Jesus. It's in the name of Jesus. 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 Something special, supernatural about your name. hallelujah number three listen he 
if you must pray the kind of prayer that heaven will respond to then that prayer must be in accordance to the will of God now don't play with this this is where I believe a lot of people get cheated in the ministry of prayer their prayer may be heartfelt their prayer may be in the name of Jesus but it's often not in accordance to the will of God listen when you begin to make petitions in the realm of the spirit imagine yourself standing in a law court give us Isaiah 41 verse 21 listen to what the prophet teaches us about prayer Isaiah 41 verse 21 please everyone please read one to go produce your cause saith the Lord bring forth your strong reasons saith the king of Jacob why should the door be open to you bring forth your strong reason the prayer of lamentation only gives you a psychological consolation but I assure you it will not touch heaven every challenge in your life is the accuser's voice over your destiny and if you are to speak you are standing before that court of justice your petition on what ground should I be blessed father your word says if I am willing and obedient I will eat the good of the land Lord I am willing and I've been obedient to your principles therefore I deserve to eat the good of the land I place a demand on the strength of this reality that's how to pray you don't pray emotional prayer you don't stand on stage and speak opinions and talk nonsense the only thing that challenges the voice of the accuser is the word of God which is a testament of his will show me why God must give you a child show me why God must give you a child are we together show me why God must give you a job show me why God must give you a husband because I'm beautiful it's not in the Bible are we together it's in your brain but it's not in the Bible show me why witchcraft must stop attacking my family bring forth your strong reasons let me show you one more scripture I found this today and it blessed me Isaiah 43 verse 26 learn this I'm teaching you that the legal dimension of prayer Isaiah 43 verse 26 please read one to read put me in remembrance let us plead together declare thou on the strength of what we have discussed that he may be justified is your bible the word put me in remembrance does not mean i have forgotten give me a basis to respond upon your life like you tell a judge in the constitution subsection this it says this and that and the judge says this is true put me in remembrance let us preach together i'm a judge who is there to protect you but give me the basis so that i can make that decree we pray a lot of careless prayer prayer that is not word based if you are a pastor here don't allow anybody climb your mic and teach nonsense and teach opinions it must be on the basis of the word if we are praying for nigeria what is the basis just because we want to intercede it's rubbish it looks spiritual but it will not be answered you see the difference between a shrine a herbalist and a christian who prays are we together please take seriously it looks like a little secret but it's a powerful one when you find it something that is a basis you can hold on to it when you read isaiah 38 the bible talks about a man called ezekiel i mean hezekiah and the bible says prophet isaiah came and told hezekiah pack up your things you will not recover from this sickness you will die <laughs> but hezekiah knew that if you fund the project of the building of the lord's house the devourer should be far from you you should live long hezekiah turned his face to the wall and began to plead on the strength of his sacrifice to heaven have you read in your bible 
the basis upon which the baptism of the Gentiles happened in the house of a man called Cornelius. He said, Cornelius, there is a reason why I'm visiting your house. Your giving, your arms, and your prayer, you have supported the cause of the kingdom. There was a woman who died in the Bible called Dorcas. When she died, there was a basis to bring her back to life. The widow said, look, she sold clothes for us. And, and, and I don't know, was it Paul or, or, or Peter now? Peter had to say, no, 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 no. There is a basis for this woman to return back. I want to ask you a question. Why do you think you should not suffer? Because I'm a Christian, you are joking. They are a kind of people that the Bible says he reproves kings for them. Are you part of it? Before you claim a blessing, find out whether you qualify for the conditions. The Bible does not talk to everybody. In the Bible, demons spoke. Donkey spoke. Where is your rema? Where is the word that you will use as your basis? Are we together? When they stopped Daniel from praying, the scripture Pastor Alpha shared, listen, when Solomon dedicated the temple, part of the covenant he entered with God was that anyone who turned to the Jerusalem temple, let that be a basis. Lord, remember the seeds that were used to build this temple. This temple remains an altar representing the sacrifice of men. So whoever turns to it, remember men sowed their things to raise this as a memorial. And when they wanted to destroy Daniel, if Daniel prayed closing his womb, he would have died for nothing. He opened the window onto Jerusalem and he started praying. And when they caught him, God said, will I now violate my word? And he sent an angel to protect them. Are we together? Don't pray serious prayer until you gather the spiritual arsenals that are responsible. You've been burying. You don't just stand up and say, I, I, Lord, I want a child. What is all this nonsense? That's not prayer. It's called grumbling and complaining. It's called murmuring. Read Hebrews 2, 3, 4 and see what happened to people who murmured. The earth opened and swallowed them. What is the basis? Lord, I want my church to grow just because you think you're a Nigerian. There must be a basis. Many Christians don't read their Bibles. They don't study the word. They don't know the provision that is made for them. Many preachers read the Bible just to preach. They read the parts that is responsible for their sermon. You must be well equipped with the word. When Satan struck, Jesus said, it is written. This is the basis. This is the basis. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word and Satan said is true. You have been attacking without scriptures. You have been attacking emotionally. Satan, get thee behind me. And you ask, why? He says, lift up your head, O ye gates. The gates replied, who is this king of glory? Why should I open up? And they said, the Lord, strong and mighty. You must pray according to the word. Let me give us the last key. The Bible says to always wrap up your prayer with thanksgiving. A very simple but powerful mystery. Philippians chapter 4 from verse 6 to 7. It says be anxious for nothing. Right? Be anxious for nothing. But in everything it says by prayer and supplication then with it thanksgiving it says make your request known make your request known be anxious for nothing but in everything as you pray not by complaining make your request with, with thanksgiving when jesus lifted five loaves and two fish he didn't say lord are you watching your name go down the drain the bible says he gave thanks thanksgiving thanksgiving right thanksgiving thanksgiving confidence 
this is the confidence we have the moment we ask anything in his name he will do it so you say lord i thank you because i know that this is done i thank you because i know this is done and let me tell you you want to take it to another dimension you can pray a prayer that is just full of thanksgiving no complaint lord jesus i thank you the bible says for with joy shall you draw out of the wells there are dimensions that salvation brings but joy is the key joy is the key that's why depression is associated with failure joy in the holy ghost are we together we are going to pray we are going to pray use the the next few minutes to travel seriously please i am pleading with you be serious be serious be serious don't don't when i say be serious i don't mean stand up or sit down that's not uh, or shout or lie down that's not what i'm saying put your heart in this thing that's why we never give you a prayer request here without giving you a scriptural backing that's the difference between herbal herbal witchcraft and herbal solution and a scriptural solution are we together you make petitions not according to your pain oh god i've been crying till now and god says no there is a system please hear me cain and abel were brothers they both offered sacrifices one was accepted one was rejected that you are in a great house like this is no guarantee i feel like giving you one more key let me share with you one more key one mystery listen one mystery of answered prayer listen please is praying with the consciousness of the covenant that governs the spiritual house the spiritual tribe and the man of god who supplies grace and faith for you now listen this is very powerful you can make petitions on the strength of the covenant god has with a man are we together this is the revelation of the god of abraham the god of isaac the god of jacob what is it about them there was a covenant that was why god had the prayer of ishmael although ishmael was a son that came by mistake that was not god's business there was still a covenant connection and when ishmael cried god had abraham and remember the covenant are we together you can make petitions in heaven on the strength of access that has come when listen listen the move of god on earth is through covenants god finds a man that represents his program for a season and enters a covenant with that man and whoever associates with that man is open to that dimension god had a covenant with that man with. so you can access open heavens on the strength of the personal covenant that god had with a man or god had with a house that was daniel's secret there was a covenant that god had with the temple in jerusalem elijah had a covenant with god and when elijah knew his personal faith could not get this he said where is the lord god of elijah lord i approach this thing not just on my personal faith i come based on the personal covenant that you have it's not witchcraft it can be exaggerated but when it is understood you will receive tremendous results there are people riding on the wings of the tears of people are we together when the devil afflicted papa oyedeko's wife demons he was casting out of some people refused to leave his wife he prayed on the strength of his secret place as an apostle and the prophet of god and that situation seemed to defy him and then they went to papa adeboye his spiritual father and adeboye said lord i have a covenant with you that i will not bury any of my children remember that covenant that devil gave way at once he gave way listen there are altars that can speak for men it's a provision in the kingdom to give you easy breakthrough are we together 
if you do not understand this you will die like a chicken not every result is on the basis of your personal faith you can invoke covenants and god is a god that is a covenant keeping god there are men and women on earth on the strength of certain assignments that god gave them there are ministries that god entered a personal covenant with them it's a covenant of answered prayer let me tell you one of the covenants that is in koinonia is a covenant of answered prayer that's why we submit prayer request it's a revelation god gave me we bring every threat before god and every issue that is brought before god will command open heavens that's why you find out as we pray you begin to see manifestations it's not just about spiritual growth it's a covenant it's a covenant let me tell you god does not answer me ministerially just because i am anointed there is a covenant that's why you hear us sing that song my altar is calling you there is an altar there is a secret place one covenant we have with god in this ministry is that we will never beg for bread are we together god gave me an instruction one time and i put one one thousand naira on the ground plenty up to hundred thousand and the lord said walk on it and pray and i walked on it and prayed through the night it was a covenant of wealth not personal covenant a covenant that covered everything that no matter what it is god will shake the heavens and raise help us that's why you hear testimonies like this our brother it's not a result from personal faith he's even surprised where will 7.5 million come it's a power of covenant at a point in our prayer tonight we will pray not on the strength of your personal faith lord remember the ministry i'm part of lord remember what i'm doing i'm showing you deep keys so you don't just pray foolishly and not get results rise up on your feet and let's pray my altar is calling you oh god my altar is calling you oh god my secret place is calling you oh god take my praise take my praise is calling you yeah. take my praise take my praise is calling you one more time let's sing it my altar is calling you oh god My Hallelujah. Praise God. We are going to pray. Listen. The first prayer point for time's sake. We are going to be challenging the gates of limitation in our lives. We will pray for Nigeria. But I want you to pray and challenge the gates. He said, who are that mountain before Zerubbabel? Are we together? Who are that mountain before Zerubbabel? He said, before Zerubbabel, thou shalt be made plain. Right? And that will happen at the shout, grace, grace. Lift your voice and challenge every mountain. In the name of Jesus. Come on, pray, pray, pray. speak to the mountain the bible says if you speak to that mountain it will give way if you speak kabatalapatia oh i speak i speak i speak i prophesy I command limitation in my life. You must bow in the name of the Lord Jesus. I command every limitation mocking the grace of God in my life. Every limitation mocking the power of God in my life. I challenge you in the name of Jesus. I command that dragon. You must bow. I command that dragon. You must bow. I command that dragon. You 
you must bow that dagon of joblessness, that dagon of poverty, that dagon of stagnation. Oh, I command you, I command you, in the name of the Lord God, whose I am and whom I serve. I command you, I command you, I command you. Hallelujah. 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 